Before the Raptors sailed off the sand dunes, before the Explorer conquered America's highways, the Mustang's more rugged cousin was winning off-road races and leading slow speed police chases. This is everything you need to know to get up to speed on the Ford Bronco. Hmm. This guy's good. Damn, he's good. Welcome to Miracle Whips, where if you only could drive one car for the rest, for the rest of your life, what would it be? So Byron wasn't a huge fan of the Bentley a few weeks ago, so I went back on DriveShare. They have a ton of cool cars you can rent for yourself. I found this Ford Bronco. It's off-road, it's rugged, it's orange. I think you'll love it. Ooh, this looks fun. Today, I'm going to drive a 1974 Ford. Bronco. The Ford Bronco is one of America's first utility vehicles. It can haul you, your whole family, your friends, and y'all pets on and off the road. This is the one that set it off, man. It's an American classic. Is it a miracle whip? Let's take a look. Sound. This is how cars used to sound back in the day. That is the official sound of rejection. You hear that clunk? Excuse me, are y'all hiring? Oh man, that was a good day. Mind if I come in? Hey, you think there'll ever be another black president? Nope. Okay. You know what this sound like? A pinball machine. That's amazing. This car is a man's man's car. You need to be rugged and rough. You got this? Oh, damn, wait. Thank God for these, huh? You gotta do that a lot. Wow! Look at this! Come here! Up. This is the perfect like drive-in car. And you know it had another seat in here, but who needs that? You know what I mean? You take you and your boo out, you know, you got the open roof. Look at this shit, man. Man, it's like a balcony. We could just kick it up here. It's nice, it's cooler up here. Have a beer. Oh, that's why, because it's oh. <laughs> I mean me and Nolan up there. I think we begin to have a moment. Wanna take our shirts off for this? Look at it, you see? <laughs> Welcome to, you can't do that now. What happened back in the day when men could be like this close with their shirts uh, off? I don't know, man. You know, having a brew with a, some bandana around their head. Different time. Talking about the communists are taking over. That was a big problem back then. Or is it a problem now? Play the door again. It got two gas tanks. Main fuel tank and an auxiliary fuel tank. You gotta take out the 89 and the 91 at the same time. You like a badass filling up gas. I really do love the simplicity of this car though. You want the air on, pull it out. You want it off, push it in. All the gauges and stuff comes out with a Phillips head screwdriver. You know what that means? You can take this whole car apart with a butter knife. This is the days when people trusted everybody. So you probably could just open it from here, right? Look at that. Look at that. That just makes it easier to steal. You can tell this car came out pre-crack era. And then they just go inside your car without you even knowing. Where's my Bronco? All that's left is this oil stain. Bronco! Ooh, that's when you wake up. Mike, you in my Bronco again? I'm borrowing some spark plugs from you. Now, as heavy as this is, I'm nervous putting this little toothpick on the head. This thing got a 302 motor in it, making only 120 five horses. Are you serious? It's like a tiny lady with a big booty, you know what I mean? These seat belts look as if it didn't come with seat belts and somebody was like, what about safety? And they tossed them in the car. Take these with you, don't forget these. It's definitely not the safest car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Burn, look, ain't even a, that's what you gonna hit. Ting, you heard that? They like if you, er, blues. Most cars you crank them come alive. This car awakens. Hey, what's up, man? Is, yeah, is it time? Is it time to go somewhere again? Once you get the gas in this car, you really got to commit. The sun's beaming. I want to close the roof. Let's way the back there. This is a great vehicle to have surfboards in. Take it to the skate park. You trying to race? Man, when I get out on the road and I hit the gas, stump on it, I can feel the rumble. Stump on it, and then I look at the speedometer, 35 miles an hour. I'm stumping on the car and every other car is driving normal. This car make cartoon noises. It sounds like somebody's in the back with aluminum foil. 
holding it to the wind. Trash flying everywhere. I don't know what that was. I think something just clicked into place. This car is loud as You're not getting to know anybody in this car. I don't know if there's a car, you have a young lady in the car beside you in the passenger seat. Y'all having a conversation about where she's from and what kind of wine she drinks. What? I couldn't hear you. Nah. And it handles like a shopping cart. You ever just pushed the shopping cart, ran and jumped on the back and then tried to turn that bitch? Whoa. Milk owl. Bloosh. Now I think it's time to take this horse out where it belongs, in the dirt. Oh my God, this is it. This is where this car belongs. I mean, look, this is a 44-year-old car. You're not taking this car to the Baja 1000, but it hangs in there, and this car feels right when it's turning into gravel. Woo, look how you slide around these curves. Go. It's like driving a horse. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> ah. I still don't know why you need a big antenna like this. What are you calling Cuba? Yeah, man. Nobody really notices this car. I mean, they notice it as move the f out the way, you big piece of bullshit. Took a whole minute to go 50 miles an hour. 50, it got 100 on the dash. But at the same time, it's something about going 50 in this car that makes you seem like you're doing like 90. You're flying, cause this car is everywhere, you know what I mean? You just alone for the ride. It's wobbly, so I'm holding on to the seat next to me. It's kicking out, it's like a rodeo, you know what I mean? Oh, she's scary around the turns. Oh man, wide turns. It was like, whoa, help me. Oh, snap, I just noticed, look at this. These buttons. Something clips on to the back here and it probably extends out. Maybe like a rain tent or something that makes it more like a camper, you know? If you know what it is, tell us in the comments below. So I just noticed it has this thing on the back. So if you drive with the tailgate open, I guess, that they can still see your tag. A little detail they added that lets you know they put some thought into it. What they didn't add was vents inside the car. Cup holders. Woo, I'm thirsty. Let's make this horse giddy up. Oh, that's corny as hell. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. If I hit the gas on off-road, this car losing its mind. It's almost as if this car is scared to drive on a regular road. When I first brought this car out, I'm mashing the gas. I'm trying to see what she got. I'm trying to push her to her limits. You can't stomp on the gas and this ain't no hair race. And on the way back, guess what? I have a realization. I need to stop treating this car like a muscle car. This car already been pushed to its limits. It's over that. So maybe you ease on it, then you open it up. You open the throttle up. Throttle. There you go. It still ain't going nowhere though. It's been married and divorced. Got two kids in college. It like drinking wine. It like relaxing. I thought it was the Bronco that needed to be tamed. But it seems like it was me that needed to be tamed the whole time. Shame. Is the 1974 Bronco my miracle wheel? No, it's not. This will be a cool car to cruise around the suburbs on the weekend. I live in the city, DTLA. Shout out to it. I gotta go through Skid Row. I need something smooth and a little bit fast. So it looks like I gotta keep on searching for that miracle wheel. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks to Haggerty for bringing you this season of Miracle Whips. If you already found your Miracle Whip, you gotta get that Haggerty's Insider app. It does a lot. Well, you can use its valuation tool to find your car's worth. Maybe it's worth more than you thought. The app has notifications about upcoming auctions. You even get to add cars to your favorites and watch it so you'll know when that next Miracle Whip is coming up for auction. And I think that's dope. Look guys, Haggerty helped us make these videos. So if you support us, 
then show them a little bit of love. See y'all next week. Oh, and also, don't forget, you got to subscribe. If you like this episode you want to see past Miracle Whip episodes, click right here. Guys, we're getting closer. We came up with nothing so far, but I know it's right around the corner. So please, tell me, what's your Miracle Whip? What car would you like to drive? In the comments below.